hello and welcome to Laz's Creations YouTube channel. My name is Tiffany and today I'm going to teach you how to paint Garfield. So I found an image online that I really enjoyed. Um, it's because it's getting so close to Thanksgiving, I decided to do some Thanksgiving stuff. And Garfield was always one of my favorites growing up. I always thought he was very funny. I am going to pause real quick and I'm going to share this on my on my Facebook. So All right, and post, and we're bam, done. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to paint this. So I have it on some watercolor paper. My favorite paper to use is watercolor paper because it is heavy duty and it will hold up a lot better than, I feel a lot better than acrylic paper or oil paper. It's 140 pounds. I think with um, acrylic and oil, it's a little bit less. So I go with the heaviest weight so it can hold up the best. Um, if you guys want to paint this at home, I do suggest getting thick paper if you don't want to just do coloring. If you guys want to paint along with me and we watch this eventually. I do suggest you pre-printing it out. Um, I did not, this is not a print. I just looked at it from my phone. The example photo, I'll show you guys. This is the example I'm going off of today. Come on. Well, okay. It's not really working very well. I'm so sorry. Not if I touch it either. Okay, anyways, I just, I just looked up on Google. Garfield's Thanksgiving. I seen a, po a picture that I liked. And then I drew it from that picture. And if you are not very good at drawing or you're more interested in the coloring or painting aspect of it, you can just print off that and then trace it. Um, I just drew it off of the picture. I went off the picture. And then after I drew it with graphite, a pencil. I went back over it with some black Sharpie just to distinct the lines, especially for this video. I noticed in the past video or two that I did that the pencil was not showing up as much as I liked it to. And yeah, plus these characters already have a black line on them. So I kind of went with it. All right, without further ado, I'm going to get into it. All right, so for supplies, I have, these are the brushes I'm gonna to use today. A small round brush, size two, a size six filbert brush, and a mop brush, a half inch mop brush. All right, and I got my water, my paper plate, and my paint rag. And then I also have all of the colors. I have a brown, I've got black, silver, white, light blue and dark blue, orange, red, pink, yellow, dark green, light green, all of them. All right. And that is what we'll be using. So mainly today's tutorial and video is going to be on how to get the gradient and the shadows and um, the different colors in each aspect. Otherwise, you're more than likely to just, oh, that's a chicken, let's paint it brown and just leave it at that. And it's fun. And it's fun if you want it to just be a coloring page. But if you want to get it to have the gradients, like the picture, go ahead and watch this and I will teach you how. 
if you want to own this when I'm all done, make sure you subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar you can just to give me love and support. But if you want to subscribe for $10, you have the opportunity to win this or any of the previous ones I've done until I get a following for that. And at the end of the month or the week, depending on if I have any followers, I will be drawing winners for the paintings that I do live. So if you are a member of my Patreon, you'll get updated with the paintings and the drawings that I do that are available to win. So please do that, it'll help me out. and you'll get some cute paintings. And also I wanted to point out, this one is not coming all the way down off the, off the paper because I will be putting a mat included with this one. I have a 11 by 14 inch mat that has a, I believe a eight by 10 cutout and this drawing fits perfectly in it. So it looks really good. All right. Without further ado, we are going to start. I'm gonna start by getting the yellow. So yellow and white. All right. And then I'm going to start by taking the white. And I'm gonna, his name's Odie, right? I think so. Anyways, um, I'm gonna start by painting his face white. Just trying to stay here in the lines. Eventually, possibly I'll get um, some streaming camera and gear so I don't have to stand like this. I have noticed it's very difficult for me to paint um, as such because I am to the side of my painting. I don't get a straight on view of it. All right, so there I put it, I painted Odie's face and I'm just gonna take the yellow. I'm gonna dip just the tip. Oh, I am using my fill work brush, okay? Um, I'm dipping just the tip. I was like, my, my quote, my favorite quote, um, just the tip. And I'm gonna go on the outside with this yellow. I'm gonna scrape it off because I got a little bit too much on there and I'm gonna bring it into the white just a little bit. So I don't want it to be too vibrant. I just wanna tone that yellow down a little bit. And even then is a little bit too much. So I'm gonna just grab some more white and the paper also soaks it up a little bit better than a canvas would as well. So there is a difference in what materials that you are using. So again, I'm just gonna go kind of on the outside of his features and bring it in a little bit. And I'll give you like the soft, soft shadow beading. If anybody knows of any like free royalty free music I can play in the background, please add it to the um, comments below or you can message me it because I really like to listen to stuff while I paint. And I guess that might distract me a little bit from talking and explaining what I'm doing, but I think it also might help you guys. So these dull moments when I'm quiet, it doesn't feel so dull. Okay, so now it's definitely more yellow on the outside than it is on the inside. I'm very sorry you can't see this 
That's great. Um, wish I knew what I could do to help. I don't know. So sorry. All right. And I'm going to come over here to his cheeks and under his nose. Um, so just like above his lip line and his little cheekers, Garfields. And that is going to be yellow. And I'm just blending it right in because my white is still wet. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it right in with all of that so it's not too yellow. All right, what else is yellow? Um, we got some yellow right here. So I'm going to paint all these. I don't even know what these are supposed to be, rolls maybe? I'm gonna paint all those. And then I'm gonna switch to my skinnier brush, my, my small round brush. And I'm gonna get some yellow and I'm just gonna go on the bottom side of all of these and add just a little, just a little touch of yellow in there, okay? Just at the bottom. I'm gonna kind of slowly bring it up, but not all the way to the top because I want the top of each biscuit, is what I'm gonna call them, or rolls, um, to be more light yellow, okay? All right. And then for yellow, we also have these little buckles on, his, on their hats. So we're gonna go in here. I also don't have the best lighting in here. So one day, one day or another, it's gonna get way better. Or butter, should I say. This is butter right here. I'm horrible with puns. They're the funnest thing in the world to me. So I'm always like trying to say puns. And usually it doesn't work out. <laughs> okay. Um, so this little cup right here also has yellow in it. It's like a yellow orange. So we're just gonna go ahead and paint it yellow first. And I'm gonna go back to my filbert brush and paint this bad boy yellow. Okay, and then we have corn right here, which is yellow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go right over top of all of it because the Sharpie's not gonna smear and I'm gonna be able to see through it. So I don't have to be too distinct with that. And you can Sharpie on it in advance with, um, regardless if you're on like a canvas or paper, it's just a really neat way to do it. All right, so now that we have most of our yellow down, actually the sandwich right here is like a tan beige color and I have some yellow left on my silver brush. So I'm just gonna dip it into the white and I'm gonna paint this because I'm just gonna make it an off yellow. His, his little Sammy is gonna be off yellow. And the, um, the edges of it are going to end up being like an orange yellow. So I'm gonna paint it yellow first, so I don't forget. And so far, I'm going to leave that how it is. I'm gonna grab the orange. And so mostly I'm gonna be working with orange and yellow right now. So, I've got some orange out 
and the corn had some shading that looked to be a little bit orange. I put too much on my brush, so I'm just gonna wipe some off, and then I'm gonna come and blend it. Since it's blending very orange, I'm gonna get some yellow, and I'm gonna go right over top of it and add some more, some more yellow. And then I'm gonna come to the top one, and I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to tell the difference. Now I'm gonna wait for that to dry because I did add too much orange. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry and then I'm gonna go over the top of this, this uh, corn. I don't know if I was calling them carrots. They're corn. Um, this corn was yellow, but I'm gonna wait for that to dry first. All right, for this cup, it kind of has like a little glimmer of orange. So I'm getting just the tip of orange on my brush. It's more like a golden actually, but I'm making it an orange. All right. So there's that. I'm just gonna blend it. I put a thick side all the way down the side of the cup and I'm just blending it all the way over. Right. A little bit more orange on my brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the rim of the glass. Okay. All right, and the inside right here, this brim, the little line that I got going on, that is just a pure yellow. So I'm just gonna yellow that out. The inside of that is gonna be black, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. I want to keep working my, with my orange and yellow. So the next orange and yellow that we're going to do is Garfield. So we have Garfield and I'm going to place where I think some yellow should be, which is going to be up here on his ears just a little bit. They're basically the highlights of where Garfield is. They're going to be the bottom portion of his eyelids and a little bit here and a little bit here. Let's bring that all the way around. And there is still some orange on my brush, which is fine for me. That doesn't bother me. Um, so I'm just going to work with that. And then yellow is here. Because this isn't going to be a bright yellow either. It's just going to be like a glimmer of yellow. So on his fingertips, on the upper part of his arm, there's yellow. On this side of his body, there's going to be some yellow. And down here, see some yellow. And here, 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 here. Okay, now I'm gonna take the orange and I'm gonna color in the rest of the space that we have. So, orange. And I'm gonna just go right over where this yellow was. It kind of made it a soft yellowish orange by going over it. That space was still, still wet, so that worked really well in my favor. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay. All
There we go. We'll get a little Garfield. He's coming along. Okay, some of the yellow I did end up losing, so I'm just going to go back over here with yellow while there's still a little bit of orange on my brush. And I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to go back to where I wanted that yellow to be, and I'm going to blend it in with the orange. So as you can see, I'm leaving the bottom half still pretty orangey, but I did blend it down. And I'm just going to do that with the other parts. Okay, so blend, blend, blend. One little you. And you know what? There's so many different ways to do this. So if you have another way that works better for you, then by all means, check pattern. So I did get some yellow or orange in his eyes where it's supposed to be white, but that's okay because I'll end up just going back over it later. I'm not gonna worry about it. Well, I tried to add more yellow to that. It didn't work right now. So probably because there's still a bunch of orange on my brush, but that's okay. So, oh, I forgot a spot for his orange. Garfield. Okay, you know what, maybe later on I'm going to go back over that with yellow too, because I think he is a little bit too orange. Um, like he's not supposed to be that orange, I don't think. He's supposed to be orange, but not that orange. Okay, I'm going to go in with orange on Odie's ears. No, they're not orange. Yes, they are brown, but I do want a tinge of orange color with them. Let's just paint everything else that is supposed to be orange. So like the sandwiches, let's get, let's get the edge of that sandwich. So yes, that's pretty orange too. I'm gonna go back in there later and put some yellow over that again. All right, so we got this big old turkey and I'm going to paint orange down here. At the base of it for the shadow part of it. 
I'm gonna get a little touch of water on my brush. So it can blend just a little bit better. Blind better. Pink lines better. Okay. And then I'm gonna come up here at the top with some yellow. I'm gonna start by mixing it with the orange. Okay. And then I'm going to work my way up with it. So there's that part of it. Let's blend that in, blend that in. You see that nice gradient that we got going on? See, that's what we want. Okay. And we got a ham over here and I'm gonna use orange for this. So if you watch my previous videos, you would hear me say that I work in a lot of layers. So this is just our first layer, guys. So there's no pressure. It's just a layer. Um, and then these are going to be like a brownish, but I'm going to use some orange for these for now because they do have like a little tint of orange going on. There we go. All right. Oh, and then there's some carrots under this turkey. So these little circle things are carrots. And, 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 All right, I think that's gonna be it for, nope, nope, nope. Let's bow sausage up here. I'm just gonna put a line of orange. Actually, I'm gonna put more than just a line. I'm gonna fill this bad boy with orange for now. Okay, all right. And so we're good on the orange for a hot minute. And the next color that we're going to be using, I'm going to grab out this pink. I've got a pink. Well, let me find a different pink. Right Just right up. These are just paints that, in these little souffle cups that I reuse because I teach uh, real life paint parties where I already have a painting that's an original of mine that I draw up, I, well, I paint up, and then I teach them in public or private settings. And yes, these are the leftovers. Nothing goes to waste. Well, sometimes, but I prefer to keep most of the waste at bay, not at bay. That sounds like a no. So there's a little bit of pink, Garfield's nose. Oh, look at that little pink nose. Um, we've got this part of the ham that we can paint pink. All right. And then we'll put some pink highlights over here for now. It's going to be more red later on. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, oh, I went out of the lines. It's like a pink, yellow, orange. All right, that's what I'm going to paint for pink right now. Now I'm going to go right into red. So there's a little bit of red coming on this hot dog. The sausage, I guess I should say. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so painted that a little bit of red with it. Um, I'm gonna put like a dab there and blend it with my finger. Sometimes your fingers are your best friends when it comes to painting. Mwah. No, I'm just kidding. I really did that. 
I can't edit that out. Oh well. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna put just a touch of red along the end. I mean, we are talking about food and all. I mean, we got some food going on here. So I guess the chef's kiss isn't too far out of line. Okay, so I just blend that. You see how like the gradient one is just so, mm, like, get it, girl. Yeah, yeah, get it, girl. All right, so where was I going? Okay, so I was gonna go come over here with this ham. I did get some water on my brush so it would uh, blend and move a little bit better. Then just put the paints on. Right. And then on the inside of this ham is a lot of red. So I'm gonna come in here and go over top of this ham with some red. I look like a bloody ham. Maybe I'll go back over that with pink in a minute. But this bad boy, this jello cake. So good. It's red. I'm going to take off my brush and I'm going to blend it into this pink as best as I can. Okay, so while that's still wet, I'm going to get some of this pink back out. And I'm going to go along the edges again. I'm going to wipe off my brush. And then I'm going to go in between those two colors where they meet. And I'm going to go over top of it until the colors blend together. Wipey, wipey. So that is a jello cake starter. I guess it would be the ender, not a starter. <laughs> All right, and then the cherry on top. Don't forget the cherry on top. Oh yeah, that just brings it all together. All right, so that concludes our red. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put the red right away because I'm not gonna use it no more, I don't think. If I do, it's just right here, so that's okay. All right, next, what we got going on. I'm going to get some brown out. So I got a little dab of that. And I'm not going to wash my brush off. I'm just going to dip it right into some brown. Just a tiny bit. So it's just like a little uh, casting, I guess. And I'm just going to well, get a little bit of water on there so I can actually Blend it. All right, so. With this hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, get a dog. I think that might be the wrong cartoon. All right, so I just blended a little bit onto the hot dog. And then I'm going to come up to Odie's ears. And I'm going to outline them. I'm going to wipe off my brush the best I can, make it a little bit dry, and I'm just going to blend that brown in. All right, I'll go ahead and get my brush wet again. All right, not super wet. I don't want it like sopping wet, but 
a little bit of wet and I'm gonna go back over top of it to get some of this gradient a smoother mixture. And there we go. Let me dip in some white and I'm gonna just come up here with some white to pull some of that together. You know what, I missed a big portion of him right here, of his ear, right there, there. That's better, that's better. There's his ear. Okay, so we got Otis ears. We have the sausage that's brown. We have um, the turkey. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna outline the turkey. My brush is a little bit wet. It has just a wash of brown on it. And when I say wash, what I mean is that it is such a wet mixture that it is um, almost like translucent. Almost, uh, is that the right word? Translucent? It's almost like see-through. Like you can still see the colors underneath. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that all the way up the turkey, all the way up. I'm gonna add a little bit more water, but no more color as my brush runs out. Just so I can try and blend the stuff that I do have on the page already. Come over here, do the same thing this way. I'm just gonna grab some white on my brush. Last time. That's okay. I'm gonna dip back into my orange just a little bit because I just want to bring that color out just a little bit again. One thing about these live videos that I'm gonna do on here that I have been doing on here for the past couple weeks um, is I've never painted these before. So this is a learning experience for me as well as it is for you. The difference when I come to your home or an establishment and I do like a paint party is I have already painted those before because I had to paint the example for it. But these ones, you guys get to see my whole thought process on it, which sometimes is a little uh, intimidating, a little scary, but I'm really kind of enjoying it a little bit. It's interesting. It would be so much better if I had proper uh, streaming materials, but you know what? We make do with what we got over here. This neck of the woods. Neck of the woods. I don't even know. I mean, I know what it means. I just used it properly, I suppose. But, like, honestly, we do neck of the woods. I don't even have necks. Okay? There's no necks in a woods. That's not. All right, with the wash again, I'm gonna do a light wash and I'm gonna go over these potatoes. And I'm just gonna take my orange again. I'm gonna go over top of that with orange, add some more orange on there, yeah. Can we go? Okay, I don't know why I keep saying that. I like, don't even say that very often. I said it twice in this video. Stop it. Okay, so I think that concludes our brown for now. Yeah, I'm gonna wash off my brush completely 
I don't want any color on it right now. Okay, washy, 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 washy. I'm gonna dip into my yellow. I'm gonna try to put a layer of yellow back on these. This cone, which that looks fine. All right, and um, his sandwich is looking up. Oh, I wanted to put yellow back on the size of his sandwich. Okay, so his sandwich is looking pretty yellow for me. So I'm gonna wash, wipe my brush off. So there's no yellow on it anymore. And I'm gonna get some white going. And I'm gonna go back over his sandwich with some white. When we're all done with this painting, we're gonna go back over it. I'm gonna use a, a black Sharpie over top of it. So I'm not gonna worry about these lines. I know that's not really paint going back over it with black Sharpie, but I can be more steady with it, a more consistent line. And it's still drawing, painting. It just turns into like a multi-medium, except I'll just still call it acrylic. It's close enough. It's mostly acrylic. Okay. All right. Now that I have that redone, too many things. I'm struggling with some paint over here. It keeps flopping over. All right, I'm going to get some green out. All right, so I'm using a light green to start with. Because I had a light green and a dark green. So I got the light green. I'm going to come and I'm going to put some on these corn stalks. I'm going to go ahead and just paint over this whole section with light green. Okay, the carrot, well, garnish, I don't know. They're not really even carrots, they're just like little circles. So I'm just gonna paint those with some green up in there. And his lettuce on his sandwich has some green. So let's paint some green up in there. And that concludes the light green. Sorry, I was looking at the reference photo just to make sure. What time are we at? 43 minutes. That's not bad. Oh, 44 now. That's a little bad. All right. So for this dark green, what I'm going to come and do is I'm going to come and actually, I'm going to switch my brush to my round brush. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to add these corners. See, I'm just going to start with little lines first. And after I get the base down, I will go in back in after I wipe off my brush and I will blend it back in. See, like my brush is like getting pretty dry. Use all my paint. So I'm just gonna go back in. I'm gonna blend these in with the light stuff. All right. And now for the peas, I'm gonna dip it in and I'm going to 
paint. Let's see. So it was kind of like a mixture. So thankfully the screen is still wet so I can blend in the dark stuff with it. So I'm literally, I took the slightest bit on my brush, just the tip, and I am starting at the base and going up with it. Just to, so we can get this like mixture going, this nice little gradient. We were able to have two different shades of green. I'm gonna get it a little bit wet. All right. There. So I mixed all that up. Now I'm gonna go back to my skinny rayon brush. I'm gonna dip into the green and these dots that I made, I'm just gonna pick some and make some peas with. So some dark peas. And so I'm gonna go till about when my brush runs out because I did get quite a bit on my brush. Actually, I'm lying. I did about three quarters of my little circles with the dark green. Sorry. No, I sneezed. Did you see me trying to say, excuse me? I couldn't get that out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back in with my light green and I'm gonna dab those right on there as well in the same manner that we just All right, so now the green is done. See how easy it can be? It can be super easy as long as you don't overthink it. All right, so what do we got now? Now, I reckon we do some white. Let's do some white. I'm gonna wash off my brush really good. And the whipped cream gets some white. Oh, I'm back to using my filbert brush. All right, so I got some whipped cream going on. The eyeballs need to be done, especially because I got some orange on them. Okay. There we go. Let's do Odie's eyeballs too. Let's do this part of Odie's nose. And what else is white? Oh, well, these are like kind of grayish, silverish, but I'm gonna do white on the chicken feet, the turkey feet to start with. What is that? What is that? That needs to be a little bit yellow. So I'll come over here and I'm just gonna blend that in. How are you? All right. Um, we have this platter under the turkey that is pretty white. We've got the base around this ham that's got a nice white 
to it. I'm gonna grab my small round brush and do that again. Okay. Um, we've got the spoon. Got pretty decent amount of white. Already got this plate. And we've got this salt and pepper shaker. And I think that is it for the white. I'm gonna do some white up here. All right, next I'm gonna still take this small round brush. I have some silver. Uh, you can use gray, a mixture of white and black if you want. I just have this silver on hand and I just felt like a fork should be silver. That's, that's what I'm going with. All right. So I'm just going to take it. I'm going to paint the fork with it. Uh, the the little thing on their hats is silver or gray, whatever you want. I'm going to call it silver, just so y'all know what I'm talking about. That's the color I'm using. So silver here. So I did add some white up here to this strip. Um, and the picture is like a gradient. So I'm going to go and just put the white is still wet. So I'm just gonna go and put silver and mix it in with it and I'm gonna call it good. Um, this silver is very light regardless. So it'll be fine. I'm going to kind of do like a gradient for the chicken feet. I'm just focusing on the outskirts of it. I'm gonna do some just in this ham, just a little bit, okay. And then the spoon is the silver from me. All right, and the salt and pepper shaker. So the silver looks a lot like white, not gonna lie. Um, but it's not, and it's okay. I'm gonna do the inside of this turkey platter silver, but I'm gonna try and leave the outside where I have that line as a white. If you guys look at the actual photo compared to my photo, the dimensions are not accurate. They're not like completely the same, but you get the gist of it and it looks pretty good. So I was happy with it. I think that's the, the most common thing with art that is not yours, like, or traced is that there, there's always gonna be something that's not 100% identical, which is, I find, completely okay. Okay. So now that we have that done, we can use some black. All right, so I have a lot of silver on my plate, on my uh, brush still. I'm gonna dip just the tip into some black. I'm actually gonna brush that off so it's not too much. And some of these darker, some of these darker uh, platters that they were supposed to be, not like a really, really silver, but just lightly silver. I'm just gonna mix in some, just the slightest amount of black in there so you can tell a difference in the color. So that was a lot of black, which is okay because it is blending and looking okay. I'm gonna dip into my water here. Get 
next Okay. All right, so there's that. And then I'm gonna switch over to my filbert brush and their hats are black and the inside of the cup is black. So I'm gonna paint that. Go. Again, if you're interested in owning this when I'm done, all you have to do is subscribe to my Patreon and then be the lucky winner. Um, my Patreon is going to be listed in the, the link below. It is uh, $10 to join in order to get the chance to win this. However, if you donate just a dollar, I would be extremely grateful for that. And if you donate $20, obviously I would be extremely grateful. Um, but with a $20 tier, you also get a free personalized card in the mail delivered to you from me every month. So, yeah. I don't know if it goes black. These little bitties need to be black. All right, so there we go for that. And the, I think that's all that was black. Next step is to do the, um, what would that be called? Tablecloth, a tablecloth. I'm gonna do the tablecloth. So black is complete. Green, that's complete. I'm just gonna pick up some of these colors here real quick. I really need to pick up all the colors. I want the yellow, the red, and the orange to stay, but the rest of the colors are no longer needed. Okay. Thank you. 
right. So I got my dark blue and my light blue. And I am going to take my filbert brush and I am going to dip into my dark blue and I'm going to paint a little bit, dip into my light blue, paint a little bit over top of it. And I'm gonna do that along this whole thing. And the more I go with the wet paint, um, it's gonna blend together pretty good. So up here where I get close to the food, I'm gonna go into little circles and I'm just gonna go up with it. So I'm just gonna kind of like scribble it up, okay? And that line is a little bit bold. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm going to kind of brush it a little bit. I'm fine with that. All right, so there's that. Take my finger, flip that a little bit, take it away from where I don't want it. That food was more of a distinct line, so I kept it a distinct line because I didn't like just like cut off the food. Where it's more of a distinct line, I will keep the tablecloth distinct. If you prefer to only use one color, by all means, go ahead. I kind of like the mixture look, so I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to switch over to my small brush. Keep going. The small brush will help where you get the smaller parts of your paint. And then to blend it together, just blend it out into the already existing colors. Sorry.
there is the table. All right. Next, we're going to do the background. So I'm going to. What do I want to do? Let me wash off both my brushes. Okay, so I washed off both my brushes. And what I wanna do now is I want to, wanna get out my, actually I'm gonna start with orange. So let me find a better orange. This one's almost gone. Bam, found one. So I'm going to start with orange and what I'm going to do is I'm taking my filbert brush again and I'm going to just paint down. I'm going to start right about here. So I'm going to do a red to a yellow gradient and I'm taking my orange and I'm starting about right here. Um, I'm just going to paint up until it runs out right here. And I'm going to keep going. Okay. So at about this point in my painting, I'm going to switch over to red. So we've got some orange, okay? And now I'm gonna grab my red and I'm just gonna go straight from orange, oh, straight from orange to red, right here where it meets. And I'm gonna, at this little part part of it, I'm going to blend. I'm going to put some orange back up on there. And I'm going to blend that down. And I'm going to go back up, wipe off my brush. And then come back up with some orange and try to blend here. And bring that up. It's a lot of like back and forth slowly as, so you don't get such a harsh line. And so it's like an even gradient as you go. So okay, that's pretty good. And now I'm just gonna finish this part off with some red. And of course it helps a lot when your colors are wet so you can blend them without such a harsh gradient. Remember, this is where the tablecloth is, so you do not want to blend it in with that. Otherwise, it just might look like one big background. Okay. So, like a nice gradient. I'm a, I'm a fiddler. Fiddle with it until I either happy or ruin it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do that along this bottom half of the top. So I'm gonna wipe off my brush. There's no more red on it. As fast as I can. I'm gonna dip into some orange. And then I'm gonna come over here. Get into the starch. And this area might be a little tricky because we do have so much stuff going on. Try to keep this part just a flat orange as best as I could. And 
And it's about like right here where it starts to starts to change. So but right now I'm gonna just get a nice wet glob of orange going. And I'm gonna grab some red without wiping off my brush. I'm just gonna try and blend that nice and clean. I'm gonna grab my small brush. Get into these little little crevices with it. Grab some red from over there. Bring it up a little bit. There we go. And then in here, it's gonna be all red. So I'm gonna come over here and just lay it down. Okay. Wipe off my big filbert brush. I'm gonna take some orange, just a little bit, and I'm gonna work it up. Just until my brush runs dry, like I did up here. Okay. Let me wipe off. This brush stand like this for extended periods of time, like all hunched over. Really starting to hurt my back. Um, fill in these little gaps. There's this side. Now we are blah, 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 blah. can't talk. Now we are gonna do this side. So again, make sure all the red is off my brush. And I'm come in here. Down. And
So there we go. I feel like this one's a little bit more greedy. There we go. There we go. There we go. See, a little fiddler. <laughs> Hi, Dana. Thanks for watching my video. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fun. So, yeah. And now, since we're done with the half portion of the top, or the bottom portion of the top, we're gonna go in with our yellow and orange, and we are gonna work on the top. So I'm gonna start from where we left off. I'm gonna go just above it, and I'm gonna work it down. Ooh, that looks so much smoother than I was supposed to. It's because I still had orange on my brush from previous when I just did that, but that looked really easy. Trust me, it's not that. See, look, I'm making a mess. Making a huge mess. I'm so glad you're watching. I don't know if you're watching anymore, but you were and you commented and it makes me so happy. I'm so weird. Sorry. Okay. So I'm gonna have a mixture of colors because I did not wash my brush off, which is fine for me. I enjoy the mixture of colors. If you don't enjoy the mixtures of colors, then make sure you wash your brush off before you get to that point, this point. But I think the mixture of colors makes it look like a way more natural gradient than if we didn't have any mixture of colors at all. Now, since I'm up to that portion of it, I'm going to just go with just my yellow and I am going to mix in. Here, let me get some of this orange off just so we can get like a pure ish try to yellow at the top. So, get in here. And actually, since it's such a big open space up there, wide open spaces. Sorry. Your ass in the way. <gasps> oh, jinx. I can get very weird. I'm looking for some um, free, like, background music. What is it called? Like, uh, royalty-free music? Because some of my down periods of painting, I get pretty quiet because I'm like, so focused on it. Yeah. So now that we're in a big open space, I'm going to take my big mop brush and I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to paint the top. And again, make sure I'm working in with the stuff that I just laid down. So it's a good gradient mixture. Look at that bright yellow. So beautiful. All right. So now that we have all of this, okay. Now we are done for the most part. Oh man, his nose is supposed to be black. Let me get that back out. Let me get that black out. 
Okay, that was supposed to be a pun, but it really wasn't because I was literally getting the blackout. But I mean, I guess I kind of was. Let me get that blackout. Like back out instead of, but it is black. Sorry. Off on a tangent again. Do it. Dude, do some beatboxing and record it for me so I can play it. That would be really funny. Just taking it back and knowing his names. That's what I was missing. Felt like he's missing something with the black. Oh, and a big piece of freaking tablecloth. Where's my brain at? Let me just grab this blue and black. I did before. A dip, a dip, and paint. Okay, here we are. All done. Just kidding. The next step I am going to do off camera, but I will take a picture of the completed project. Um, but I'm going to do it off camera because I don't have a camera that can look at the top view while I draw it. I'm just going to take a Sharpie. And I'm going to re-outline it in black. Um, I'm going to do a fine line Sharpie. This one right here. So I don't know if I'm allowed to say Sharpie or whatever, but that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take this marker and outline it in black, and I will include the finished product on my Patreon. So if you want to see the finished product, go ahead, shoot over to my Patreon. I'll be sure to make the post public so you can see it, or you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram because it'll be on those. But the only way you can ever own this exact painting done by me is if you subscribe to my Patreon. So hopefully you will. And if you don't, then I don't know what it's gonna do. It's probably just gonna sit in a pile forever. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Dee, for watching and commenting and liking. I greatly appreciate it. And everyone else, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next Monday. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye for real.